equity markets have continued their steady run since our last interaction in October, and large caps are up 25% from April 2023. This raises an obvious question in the minds of investors about the future return potential and what allocation they should have to equity assets. Hi, I am Hemant Kanawala, head of equity at Kodak Life Insurance, and I will share our views in this edition of Market Outlook. There are three factors driving strong performance of Indian equity markets. First, strong macro. India's GDP growth rate is 7% and is one of the fastest growing large economies of the world. This is achieved while keeping both fiscal deficit and current account deficit at manageable levels. Finance Minister in the budget has reaffirmed government's commitment to reduce fiscal deficit to 4.5% by 2026. This will reduce interest rates in the economy, which will help boost private capex and consumption. Also, FI24 inflation of around 5% is within the range mandated to RBI, and Monetary Policy Committee have reaffirmed their commitment to bring inflation to 4% over time. Current account deficit of around 2% of GDP is at manageable level and is expected to improve going forward. Second, Corporate Fundamentals Corporate profitability has improved over years due to economic reforms namely Bankruptcy Code, GST, Corporate Tax Red Card and PSU Bank reforms. Corporate profit of BSE finite companies has increased from Rs 4 lakh crores in FY20 to Rs 10 lakh crores in FY23 and is expected to show mid-teens growth over the next two years. Corporates have used excess profits to deliver balance sheets and current net debt to EBITDA of 0.9 is close to low range in the last 20 years. Strong profitability and ability to leverage should help in restarting private capex cycle. The government has continued with its focus on infrastructure spending and has announced a growth of 15% in FY25 or FY24 budget estimates. Third, domestic buying. There are two main institutional buyers of Indian equities. Domestic institutions like mutual fund and insurance companies invested around Rs. 180,000 crores in calendar year 2023. As the current SIP book of mutual fund is around Rs. 15,000 crores, similar amounts should be possible in calendar year 2024. Foreign institutional investors have preference for India or other emerging markets due to macro stability and better health of corporates and they invested around Rs. 1,70,000 crores in calendar year 2023. India's inclusion in JP Morgan bond index from June 2024 is expected to bring inflow of Rs. 2 lakh crores in Indian bond markets, which should lower interest rates in India and provide support to current valuation. Oil prices above $100 and slowdown in global economy remains key risk to Indian economy in the short term. However, we believe that above mentioned structural drivers will insulate Indian economy from these variables in the medium term. Focus on creating thermal coal sufficiency, chemical exports and import substitution in electronics should improve India's current account deficit and reduce its vulnerability to external shocks. The market is trading at 1 year forward P of 20 on consensus estimate which is at a slight premium to long-term average. The probability of a correction after strong performance of last year is high. However, looking at the structural drivers of the economy, we believe that any such correction offers a good opportunity to increase equity allocation from a medium-term view. Wishing you a very successful investment journey.